Hello everybody, Ghost X Feared here, and welcome back to some more Battlefront 2. And this video um, is a little bit more on the sadder side of things, or, you know, maybe the disappointment side of things, depending on how you view it. Um, but the last update for Battlefront 2 has dropped. That is going to be the last content, content update we are going to get. Battlefront 2 has now come to its end. Uh, which kind of sucks to say. Um, but with this this content update, and we're going to go into depth with it. Uh, with this content update, we got a Palpatine skin from Rise of Skywalker. They have done some work on his face. Definitely, definitely looks better. His robes are different. Um... The red and the robes, and a lot of the community is is um, a little upset uh, with this skin, the belt, and the reason why a lot of the community is upset is because there is one other prominent skin that was more asked for than this one, which was his Revenge of the Sith uh, skin. Um, so the next skin we got was Rey with her new lightsaber from Rise of Skywalker, her yellow one. But her clothes are exactly the same. And then the other skin we got was Ray with a uh, hood. Um, which, yeah, looks pretty good. But again, the clothes are exactly the same as well. So, you know, kind of falls short there. And the only other one we got was Kylo Ren with his hood on. But again, it's just Kylo Ren with his hood on. I mean, they did a good job. It looks good, but... You know, it's like, it's a little lackluster. The only skin that really, really people are wanting is this one. And this is the Darth Maul Old Master skin. Now this skin is, it, it is very well done. I do enjoy this skin. I do like it a lot. His saber is pretty cool. His tattoos all around his body are pretty cool. You know, they did a good job with this skin. The only uh, thing is, it is stuck behind a kill barrier. Now I just made that word up. But in order to get this skin, you need to kill 5,000 enemies with your Darth Maul character. Now, I'm going to let you on a little secret that you may or may not know. You can get this done in co-op. So, it has to be done online, and co-op does count as online. So you can get these 5,000 kills in co-op, which is how I've been doing it. As you can see, I do not have this skin yet. I am working towards it. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, is 5,000 a lot for me? You know, I think it's a good level. A lot of people think it's not. Some people that are diehard Darth Maul fans <laughs> that have played this game for a long time and after Darth Maul leveled up, they feel like they should just get it. Um, and I can understand that from a certain point of view. I understand that, but the kill barrier, it, it, it creates longevity. It creates the game to continue on even after... Said point of not getting any more content, which we are not. We're not getting any more content. Now, I do not know if the devs are just going to stop fixing the game with all the bugs. That was never made clear. Um, that was never addressed. They, in the patch notes, they posted what needed to be fixed and what they were aware of, but they never really said anything about getting it fixed. So, which brings me to the only other thing that really came with this DLC. And that is Scarif, which, um... I have not played the Capital Supremacy map of Scarif. And I have not played... I have played the Heroes vs. Villains. Um... But... That's it. That's it for... For Battlefront 2. Um, it, it's a little... I don't know, it's a little bittersweet. Um... It's this has been a two year, two and a half year game now, two and a half years old game. Um, and they have done they have done great strides to getting where the game is now. Um, but I feel like they're they're kinda cutting it now. I feel like they're just cutting the cord. Um and and all the skins we got weren't the skins we asked for as a community. Um, so that is that's probably one of the most frustrating things. Is the skins we asked for as a community, or just like a hooded maul, or a battle damaged Vader, or 
a Revenge of the Sith Palpatine. I mean, these are skins that we just didn't get. Or Dagobah Luke, or Bespin Luke. We just didn't get these skins, and I just, I feel short-handed. I really do. Not that the skins that we got are bad, but most, the two of them are, are almost identical. So overall, I am happy with the update. The Scarif maps do look good. I have not, like I said, I have not played the Scarif map, but I have seen plenty on them. Um, but, you know, I just, there's just, there was just a lot more potential that this game could have had. Um, I feel like the devs are just kind of cutting it short. Um, overall, this game has come a very, very long ways, and I do enjoy this game, and I'm continue going to continue playing this game. Um, and you know, but I just, I just hope, I just hope that they will hopefully continue to add just even skins. I think skins would even increase the longevity of this game by leaps and bounds. Just keep giving us the skins we want. I mean, that's it. That's all we're asking for. Um, because they're just missing out on so many skins that they didn't deliver, and that's... A lot of the community is a little upset with it, and and I do love this game, and I love Star Wars. I'm taking the Monday off to stream a whole bunch of Star Wars stuff for you guys, so it's just, um, like I said, it's bittersweet. I want them to continue to move on and get, and get the next Battlefront 3 out, if that is even a possibility. It hasn't been confirmed, but that would be something I would like to see. In order, in order to do that, they do need to pool the resources to the next game, um, but that doesn't mean that they need to pull everybody, maybe just leave a small batch of dev creators to stay on, stay on Battlefront 2 and continue to just add skins and just fixes and cosmetics, I mean, that's it, that's all we want. As far as the content goes, they don't need to add any more content, they have done a very good job of doing that, the game is very pleasing, they've come a long ways with that, but just the skins for heroes and troopers and stuff, but that's what's last lux black luster, and that's what we want to see more of. We now control so anyway, it's a sad end also to the Battlefront 2 game, because this is Star Wars, and, you know, not that I want to look on the negative side of things, because I never want to try to do that, but, you know, once a game stops getting support from its creators, it sort of starts dying out. And I don't, I, I don't want that. I really don't. Well done. I really don't want that. But, like I said, this game has come a very long ways. I'm very happy with the game. There's just more they could have done. Um, so that is a little sad. Um, it's a nice little cutscene. Yeah, there's a Palpatine skin. Um, they have they have talked about lowering the kills for Darth Maul skin possibly. I mean I can't imagine they'll lower it uh, a significant amount, but they have talked about lowering the amount of kills you need to get for the skin. So I know that would make a lot of people pretty happy. Um, like I said, for me the kill barrier isn't a big deal. Um, so anyway, guys, that's I mean. That's it, really, for the video. I mean, the, there's not much that really, truly came with this update, and... I mean, I can go on and on about the game itself, and how far it's come, and how, how happy I am I've, I've ever played it. I'm so glad. Um, but it, it has come to an end. Um, they're no longer going to be supporting the game as far as new content. And I think we all saw it coming. Um, I think some of us didn't didn't want it to come, me being one of them, but I, I get the, the progressive movement of things. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Please leave a like and comment. If you want me to continue to put out Star Wars videos, you got to let me know, because I am more than happy to do so, but I need to know you guys want to see it. So make sure you comment, letting me know you guys want to see more stuff, um, because that's important, because I will definitely give it to that, guys, because I do, I do still love this game, and I'm not going to abandon this game. Um, so please, like a comment, and if you're not already a Phantom, please subscribe today to become a Phantom. And, uh, yeah. Sayonara Battlefront 2. Um, yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. Well, anyway, guys, thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next.